Alright yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to explain different ways on how to boost your FPS in Fortnite and minimize different starters and lags. So in this video, I'm going to explain different ways such as fixing your settings, fixing your in-game performance, and different games within Windows 10, and things that you can do on console to boost your FPS. So there's many different ways, and if you want to see more videos like these that are about tips and tricks, please leave a like and subscribe. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers guys, so that means mean the world to me if you subscribe. Subscribe. So let's get on to the first tip of this video. It's your settings here and there's many things you can do in the settings panel to boost your FPS. So my first tip here is to first of all go to the windows mode full screen and go make the resolution um your obviously your monitor resolution mine is 1920 by 1080 and of 144 frames then my brightness it's 100 these don't really matter in the graphical settings but the most important here is to go to the graphical quality so what i recommend to get the most out of your fps is change every setting to the low setting and the view distance as near some may use view distance to go uh to see people from like a further distance it may give them advantage in game but what i recommend is to go to your 3D resolution and make it 100% and make everything else low. So it kind of lower your resolution, it kind of looks kind of laggy and pixely. So I recommend keeping the 3D resolution at 100%. Another thing in the setting you guys can do to boost your FPS is go to the VSync panel and turning it off. And obviously, showing your FPS on so you could obviously track your FPS and see if the changes you make uh obviously boost your fps and another thing you guys can do for your settings is to turn off the replay mode this obviously kind of takes a toll on your fps since it has more tasks to do and it makes your computer run even more tasks so it kind of takes a toll and lowers your lowers your lowers your fps in game so those are the settings what i recommend you guys do to get the best fps in game so on to the next way to boost FPS. So the second way I recommend you guys to go to FPS is to go into your settings panel. So, so this is outside Fortnite and in the power in the power settings within the Windows uh, settings uh, application. So you guys have to go to lower left hand left hand corner down here and type control panel. And this is where you guys could access the power plan, which you need to uh, uh, boost your FPS. So you go here, go to the top right hand corner and type power whoops a power and change choose a power plan and within your power plan you have balance which automatically balances the performance with energy so this is kind of the default power plan this is what power plan you get when you uh, obviously install windows for the first time and you haven't changed or messed with the settings and the second one which i don't recommend you guys do unless you're on a laptop and you want to preserve power and save more battery this is uh, the power plan you use if you want to do that. But what I recommend for your best gaming performance and to get the most, most out of your PC's hardware and to get the most, most boosted FPS in games like Fortnite, other games like Warzone and Siege is to get high performance. So which this, what the setting does is it basically puts Mo it uses the most power out of your computer and accelerates the hardware so it can run run so it can run your game even faster. So that what that's the setting I recommend you guys to use. So on to the next setting. All right. So the next way I recommend you guys to also boost your FPS is to go in your task manager. To access your task manager in Windows, you right click uh, the panel at the bottom of the screen and click task manager. And this task manager basically brings up all your all your uh, tasks that are either running in the background or what kind of app so it's kind of my on my other monitor but I can bring it up right here so here you see all the tasks I'm running um, first of all I'm using OBS to record this video I have Chrome I have audacity to record this the audio and I have some uh, some Adobe apps that I used to edit my videos so in either a good way to minimize uh, stutters and boost your FPS is to delete the tasks you don't need. So for for example, I wouldn't close down OBS Studio because I'm recording. I can here I can uh, delete Google Chrome and remove it. And this basically it removes it so it doesn't run in the background. And here that would create a better sm a smoother gaming performance and more FPS in game. So you could also close down other apps such as xbox console companion which i'm not using microsoft store i'm not using and just the tasks you're not using 
you're not using you can just close down so like i'm not using the launcher i'm not using adobe creative cloud you can close all the apps that you're not using to boost the fps so that's a good way that many people don't know but it usually boosts your fps because it's a less apps running background which creates a better gaming uh performance so if you want to boost your fps just go to open task manager delete the apps that are running in the background that you're not using and it would create a smoother gaming performance and let's get on to the last few ways you can boost your fps in this video so the next thing i recommend you guys do to boost your fps is to make sure your drivers which are basically software the software in your computer to run your graphics card and your motherboard which uses its uh processing to boost your fps in games so which i which i recommend for you guys to do is either you look up nvidia drivers and or amd so it depends what graphic card ref graphic cards you have and go, look up the drivers and just to make sure you're up to date just search your graphic card in the nvidia section and just search it and it should show the latest drivers you have and you guys should download that and it should improve your performance in game for amd i recommend you guys just search amd drivers click here go search up your graphics card and just re-download the drivers so this should ensure performance since it has up-to-date uh softwares which would give you more frames in games it's a small thing but it should improve your performance significantly so if none of these wor things work i just recommend you guys to upgrade your computer uh either just buy a whole new computer if, depending on your budget or just upgrade a graphics card or cpu because by getting new um new hardware for your pc this would obviously give you more frames since you have the latest hardware and better technology so that's the other tip i have for this video so if you're still having uh problems with stuttering but your fps is good you should also look sh look into making sure your network connection is good and you have a stable uh ethernet connection or just a wi-fi connection to make sure um you don't have any network issues you could either use an ethernet cable which is pretty cheap you could get an amazon for like five to ten dollars or just get a better wi-fi card which can be a little bit more expensive but if ethernet is not a solution just look up that on amazon newegg or any other website and just get it and add it to your computer uh if you if these solutions didn't work some other small things you can do is just uh turn off and turn off and um turn on your router which usually solves some issues or either just um just getting new hardware like i said for like the router or getting a new ethernet cable so that should solve some starting issues that you may have if the internet is an issue or you just may use other solutions to boost fps which i previously said in the video uh, I just recommend you guys do those things to ensure better gaming form performance and less starters in game. So if you want to see more videos like these, like more informational videos for me, please do like and subscribe. We're almost at 2,000 subs guys, so it would mean the world to me if you subscribe and we hit that goal soon enough. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.